Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the fifth part of this video tutorial. You know, in this, uh, up to the fourth part of the video, you know, we basically focus on the server side. We talked about all the, our schema, our entity framework, and all those things. Today, you know, today we focus into, we'll be doing like back and forth between client side and the server side. So basically, mainly, I would be talking about AngularJS part, uh, AngularJS and the markup of the code, okay? That is what I would like to do. So um, let's you know back you know so I'm gonna start with you know this is the application that I was I, I showed you last time. So um, only thing I changed is I basically changed some of the CSS right here, so it looks a little better. And um, so I'm gonna start with how this add new vendor f category functionality works. Even basically how to display the pop-up window like this, you know, in AngularJS. Like I told you before, you know, I'm not. I didn't write that code. It's it's a third-party plugin that I'm using, but I'll show you how to how to use it. Okay. This is my uh, views right here. In my views, first let me show you the index page. When the page, um, so idea is like when you um, when you click into the vendor category, that's where you are into. This is my controller right here, vendor category controller. You are now inside the index action method index view of the page right that's what that's what I'm gonna see. this so this is the index page let me close all but this that way my you know view wouldn't be that cluttered okay so what this is my markup here of course so in terms of of course I have this model CSS here uh, and then of course I need to have the reference to my AngularJS right here and then of course my module that's the very first thing that I have to load and my service because my uh, controller is depending on service that's why my service is being downloaded first and then once all those things is done and of course you know and I'm, I'm, I'm using this directive right here so this is a directive let me um, that that is you know um, downloaded and this is how the structure of my JavaScript looks like. So um, here I have, of course, um, here is my script folder. Inside the script folder, I have a directive, a little, little folder called app. Inside the app, I have, you know, some custom directives here. That's all the custom directive would go inside that directive. And then, based on the which application, which feature of the application, for example, in in the vendor category, I will have a fo folder vendor category in this folder all the JavaScript related to uh, that particular functionality would go in here and of course sometime you know some of the services would be shared so I could I will have a shared folder and that could be shared okay okay so let's very first thing we want to see is of course um, the markup here so markup is, is very simple because you know I would like to when in, in especially in ASP.NBC I would like to have a partial view so a lot of partial views in my application because because like if you know using partial views would allow you to you know if, for example let's say you have to change some CSS some markup some layout or whatever it's 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 in just in one place you go and change it instead of coming into your one main page and changing the you know this complicated HTML. Anyway, so for example, I have this uh, this partial view named vendor category that oops, I don't mean to do that. That contains all my uh, grid information right here. This grid is inside that markup. I would that that uh, partial view that I will show you later. And this the um, this model window create vendor category. For example, when I say model window, this is what I'm referring to. That markup is inside um, that create vendor category. And that exactly the same thing for the editing. Okay, and all the markup for editing also goes in there into its one, uh, its one um, partial view, and same thing for the delete. Okay, and this is the very first button that you see right here. Okay, even before that, this is my uh, everything is inside. All the markup is inside that div. You know that's why um, I have this ng app directive referring to my uh, module my AngularJS module that I'll show you later and inside that module I have a controller called vendor category controller that and then this is you know it's important because like um, ng cloak what this 
allow you to do is like basically when application is loading or refreshing um, you have like huge amount of binding if the data hasn't come out from the server you might you know like you might see those little um, it hasn't if it has not completely loaded you will see that you know not nice looking angular js binding syntax and it's not really a good idea to show that information to to the user you know what i mean so this would prevent that from happening okay and in that page of course i have a button here and besides some id and the name and stuff and some css class to make that button look nice i have ng click direct ng click directly right here pointing and it's and click this basically calls this little method called toggle modal method which is in of course inside the, the controller that I will show you next okay so what happens like when this button so um, when this button gets clicked let's look it into that piece of code so that is inside our um, controller here Let's go into that method first, you know, here. Okay, this is a very simple method right here. Associated with the my scope, I have this toggle model, you know, method right here. And all it does, this is scope, has a property called model shown. It basically said by default, that model is not shown. And, and when this button gets clicked, that basically is switch the value of that variable, right? It becomes true. Setting this true means it the button that the model window now becomes visible. Okay, that uh, that model window. Now let let me show you that model window here. Um, in my view, in my uh, vendor category, this partial view called create vendor category. See right here. This is the markup, all the way. The basically custom directive that that you know dialog that I that I'm using and it has this property called show which is set to a model zone and by default it is shown to false but it is shown to true when the button gets clicked okay and, and okay and, and, and after that inside that that directive I have all my uh, markup for example I have a table and uh, inside the table I have a text box for the vendor category and I have a text area for the vendor description where user can enter those information and not that much interesting only because I have this property called ng of course you know ng model I have, I have given name like a vendor category create data the vendor category name you will see that in my uh, in my uh, controller exactly the same idea for the description and then go down all over here and then you have button right here called uh, button edit and then I have ng click directive on that button it says create new vendor category okay let's look at into that method that implementation of that method into the inside the controller okay inside the vendor category controller okay so uh, this one is pretty easy I'll show you um, so this is a this is a function right here, and I define uh, you know the object right here called vendor category view model, and then basically a vendor name and vendor description would come out from the scope. Remember, like in my markup, I defined those uh, ng model as a vendor vendor category name and the vendor description. So basically, I, I'm collecting uh, these two values, whatever user types right here, right here you know in, in here and submit those information would go in there that information would go in there and then of course you know to now once those information this object is populated is set now I'm ready to call my service hey service I have an object right here maybe can you call to the my web service or maybe my, you know, in this case, my um, ASP, con my controller, my server-side controller, and here is the data that you have to give that. That's, you know, I will show you that service is pretty easy. And then if that becomes successful, and then basically it will send some response here, and then response is like this because it's a post. I'm posting those two data to the server, right? And then I'm saying if everything is good, you know, this. Um, 
whatever, if the response from the server side is successful, then basically I, I